What's up horror fans? It's Danny from The Last Recast and I am recording this video very very late on Wednesday night. Uh, I actually just got home uh, from a Broadway show. I'm very tired but that did not stop me from getting home and watching episode one of Chucky season two episode one called Halloween 2. I'm going to be getting to that review in just a second. I'm going to be covering Chucky season two every episode uh, just like I did for season one and the show is on USA and sci-fi love this first episode I'll talk about it a little bit in just a second but I'm super excited it is it's October and we Pete and I have such a slate of stuff coming out uh, for you guys um, we have so many exciting things we are still reviewing shutters 101 scariest horror movie moments episode five just came out uh today as the time that i'm recording this uh we were supposed to re do that review today it got delayed until tomorrow but it'll be out as soon as possible uh tomorrow pete is uh he's editing and he's going to get out the Midnight Club book review. We reviewed Christopher Pike's The Midnight Club, and of course we did a little comparison uh, and discussion about the upcoming Mike Flanagan Netflix series. Uh, we are going to be covering every episode of that. Uh, our channel, The Last Archist, is named for Mike Flanagan's work. Uh, speaking of Mike Flanagan and Chucky, uh, bringing them together, New York Comic Con rolls in on Thursday, October 6th. Uh, if you're watching this, you are probably watching it on Thursday, October 6th. I'm recording it very late Wednesday night. Uh, I am going to Comic-Con all four days. I am going to be even more tired than I am right now. But tomorrow night, Mike Flanagan will be there for a panel about the Midnight Club. Friday afternoon, I will be there at the Chucky panel, which will have Don Mancini, uh, Jennifer Tilly uh, and I believe other stars of the series and maybe other writers from the series I have been such a huge fan of the Chucky franchise since the time I was about six years old and Don Mancini is the the man responsible he is the guiding force of this franchise and that includes seasons one and two on TV I, I reviewed every episode of season one for this channel and I'm gonna be here doing season two as well uh that's not even it we have so much more i mean aside from 101 scariest horror movie moments the midnight club chucky uh friday's uh shutters four-part series queer for fear i reviewed episode one that's up on the channel now i'm going to be reviewing that series uh charlotte and i are seeing tons of horror movies uh, this this uh, holiday season, uh, we just watched uh, The Descent, which is now streaming on Shutter, one of my favorite horror films, uh, one of the most claustrophobic movies you could ever watch. So, uh, if you're a fan of horror, give our channel a subscribe. We have so much stuff coming at you very soon. So let's get into Chucky, Season 2. Uh, this episode is called Halloween 2. And it's directed by Jeff Renfro, and it is written by Don Mancini. Uh, and the band is back. You have uh, Zach, uh, Zachary Arthur, Bjorkvin, Arnerson, and Olivia Allen Lind as Jake, Devin, and Lexi, respectively. They are the survivors of season one. Uh, Lexi uh, was torturing jake for most of the season and then they basically became a unit uh, a team uh, fighting against chucky when they all realized what was really happening devin was the podcaster uh, conspiracy guy uh, him and jake uh, are now together as a couple uh, and this episode takes place six months after uh, the events of season one. Jake is living uh, in foster, in a foster home, 
and he has a foster brother, a younger brother named Gary, who he cares for very deeply. Uh, they are going, it's Halloween, obviously, and they are going as Batman and Robin. So there's a very funny uh, repetitive joke throughout the episode where Gary uh, is using the Adam West style speaking uh, as Robin going, you know, like, holy, holy trick-or-treaters, Batman, you know, and, and it comes up uh, kind of continuously through the episode, and it's very cute, uh, and it starts to get a little old, and, well, Chucky lets us know in only a way Chucky can. Uh, Devin, we don't, he, he kind of mentions that his foster mom, his new foster mom is basically gone, she you know, picked up and went to Europe. And Lexi, meanwhile, still living with her mother and younger sister. Uh, her father, of course, uh, died at the in the theater massacre at the end of season one. And the star of this episode for me was Olivia Allen Lind as Lexi. She pulls off the, she really gives a good performance as that strung out, you know, just had it with the world. I've been through shit you can't even imagine character. Uh, she is getting high on pretty much everything. It's Halloween. Uh, her mom is out, so she's hooking up with some boy and she's ready to go to town with this boy. And it's really kind of funny because the boy, you could tell is like, so uh, have you done this before? Uh, I really like you. And she's just like, oh my God, will you shut up? And <laughs> meanwhile, you could tell she is strung out. She is taking pills. It looks like she's doing cocaine, but then, you know, these are supposed to be high school aged kids. So they're probably not gonna have them doing cocaine. They show later on, she's crushing pills uh, like clonazepam and other medications. And she's crushing them into a snortable powder uh she's also smoking a lot of weed uh and when jake and devon finally come to visit her at the end they notice how strung out she looks and she even kind of is like what what is this an intervention as far as chucky goes we pick up right where we left off uh which was alex vincent uh driving the truck loaded with chucky dolls uh with tiffany pointing the gun and we get this hilarious scene of these new Chucky dolls looking at Tiffany and, uh, and Alex Vincent and basically going, do we know them? Who, who they, they look familiar. Who are they? And it, it's just, it, it's adorable. It's, it's hilarious. Uh, it's Chucky it's it's different Chucky dolls interacting with each other. You know that Brad Dourif is just having a ball doing this uh, in his recording booth, you know, kind of acting off of himself, uh, playing with the voices a little bit. Super fun. I'm so glad that uh, Don Mancini got to make Cult of Chucky and we finally get the, the multiple Chucky dolls it's such a fun dynamic of being able to see various Chucky dolls interacting with each other, but also it makes the threat so much bigger because as great as the first couple of Child's Play films were, it's still a killer doll who I think we all kind of feel as horror fans, we'd much rather be in a situation where we had to fight off Chucky than Jason or Michael, right? Right, like we love Chucky, we respect Chucky as a horror icon, but if you're given the option, you're gonna wanna fight the three foot doll instead of the six and a half foot, 200 pound zombie stalker killer who you know, like, can crush faces and, and, and snap spines. It, so the fact that there's so many of them it, it just increases the threat, and, and I really enjoy that, along with just the humor of the character and, and Brad Dourif's uh, voice uh, acting. So, Tiffany 
gets her head blown off uh, by Alex Vincent. And the Chucky dolls go after him and he just drives his that the like the UPS style truck with all the Chuckies in the back drives it off the side of a cliff and you're like whoa is that it is he dead are the Chuckies dead well we find out later uh that they are obviously not and when asked we find out that oh his body was never found that's all we know for now in this episode um if I didn't say it, I'm, spo I'm, I'm putting out some spoilers for, C for episode one. Uh, so obviously you should watch uh, the episode. I'll, I'll make sure I write the word spoilers in the description. Uh, Devin and Jake start getting prank phone calls. At the same time, uh, Lexi, while she's upstairs, you know, trying to make out with this kid, you know, snorting drugs. Her little sister opens the door to a trick-or-treater who's dressed as a ghost. Um, this is all done in an elaborate three-way, like, FaceTime call with Jake and Devin. So Devin calls the police to send them uh, to interrupt, you know, whatever's going on at Lexi's house so that she doesn't get killed by Chucky. Uh, they finally end up getting reunited later on, and it's at this point where the the main situation takes place, the, the explosive situation. I need to point out, um, Lexi's baby sister, uh, not baby sister, but younger sister, uh, who now is deathly afraid of dolls, is of course given a bride doll by her therapist, uh, which of course looks like, uh, the Bride of Chucky, looks like Tiffany, uh, although that doll, as of now, does not come to life, uh, the three of them are finally together, and there's a knock at the door, and it's Gary, uh, Jake's younger foster brother, the Robin to his Batman, except he's holding Chucky who is holding a bomb with a detonator, a homemade, like, pipe bomb-style bomb. And he even makes a joke about, you know, it's so easy what you can make with a little fertilizer and, you know, other household products. So he's got this, like, bomb in a, in a tin can with a detonator, and Gary, just wanting to be, you know, part of the crowd, comes waltzing into the house with Chucky, holy bomb Batman and and they you know it, it's it's funny but you also kind of see where this is going and they went there Don Mancini in episode one of Chucky season two they blow up a young kid um yeah they get the bomb away from Chucky Gary picks it up runs away with it Chucky jumps on him and they even make the point that Chucky uh, basically kamikaze himself. And the only reason that he would ever do that in an effort to kill uh, Jake, Devin, and Lexi, the only way he would ever do that is if there were more of him still out there. But he kamikaze himself and he blows up little Gary. Gary's dead. And so the episode ends with the three of them uh, basically being obviously pulled from their foster homes and sent to um, the uh, a church-run school for wayward children called Incarnate Lord. And the last thing you see as they're on the bus going in is they go, this place looks really familiar. And they realize that, that's right, they are being sent to the same building that housed Charles Lee Ray that we saw back in season one. So young Chucky, young Charles Lee Ray, uh, was at this facility. And now our three main characters are going to be at this facility. And 
Chucky uh, gets delivered by a UPS truck in your typical box, and that's the last thing we see as the episode ends. Uh, first of all, the name of the episode is Halloween 2. They name drop Dr. Mixter from Halloween 2. They even play what sounds like some Carpenter-esque Halloween music in there. Uh, I just, it's such a pleasure to have this show back. Uh, Don Mancini's uh, voice just flows through it. He, all of his ideas uh, from, you know, this whole franchise from 1988 to 2022. And it's, it just kind of feels like you're home with these characters now. And, you know, you have Alex Vincent there. In the previews, you actually see Gina Gershon, who is going to be on this show. Uh, and that is so funny because of obviously her connection to Jennifer Tilly from Bound, which they make a ton of jokes about in uh, Bride and Seed of Chucky with, you know, what's your favorite Jennifer Tilly movie? Oh, I loved you in Bound. So, uh... I, I can't wait to see that. And, you know, it's only a matter of time before Fiona Dourif shows back up, uh, before Jennifer Tilly herself uh, is back on the screen. I, I just love this show. And this was a great first episode, a great reintroduction. And I love that it ends by setting up the next plot thread of them going to this, uh, you know, church run school for wayward children. Uh, the Incarnate Lord, where Chucky is going to go uh, ballistic on uh, nuns and members of the staff and probably kids there as well. So, a great first episode from Don Mancini, Brad Dourif, and the gang with Chucky. And hopefully on Friday, I will get to see some of these people live in the flesh. Uh, not hopefully. I am going to. I, I got a pass uh, for the Chucky panel, which is uh, at New York Comic Con. So I'm very excited for that. I know Don Mancini and I believe Jennifer Tilly are scheduled to be there. Uh, I look forward to that. Uh, I'll be probably be recording a video live on the scene. Uh, so stay tuned for that. Stay tuned for my coverage of Mike Flanagan's Mike Flanagan's Midnight Club panel, uh, which is the, th uh, the Thursday, probably when you're watching this. Uh, and then, of course, we have our 101 Scariest Horror Movie Moments on Shudder. We have our Queer for Fear reviews from Shudder. Uh, Pete and I did a great Midnight Club book review and discussion of the upcoming series, which starts on Friday, which we will also be reviewing. There is so much freaking horror. Uh, and also, check your local theaters. I know that my theater is just throwing horror movies back into the theaters. Uh, I went to see John Carpenter's In the Mouth of Madness in 35mm the other day just because I just checked my local theaters and there it was. And I went, how can I not go to see John Carpenter movies in the theaters when they're out? Uh, trick or Treat. Uh, is going to be back in the movie theaters. The original Halloween, as well as Halloween's 2018 Halloween Kills, are going to be out in the theaters again to prep for Halloween Ends, which is going to be next week. Uh, there's a new Hellraiser movie coming out on Friday as well. It's just, there's almost too much. I need more hours in the day to talk about all the horror that I want to talk about, and it makes it a very happy and special time to be a horror movie fan. So with that, I will leave you. Chucky is on Sci-Fi and USA uh, Wednesday nights at nine o'clock. Uh, going forward, my reviews will be immediately posted after the show. So if it airs at nine o'clock, uh, the review will probably post to this channel by 11 o'clock Eastern time. Uh, just tonight, I happen to be out in the city. I took my daughter and my nephew to a Broadway show and it ended late and we got home late. So I'm gonna take these tired eyes, go to bed and get myself ready for Comic-Con. Oh yeah. I'll see you very soon.